Well, we're walking out of the uh, park, Merrow's Farm, along the little private road, uh, in the hope of finding the coastal path on the south coast of Cornwall. We're not sure what we're going to find. Um, we've just got a little bit of information from the hut, uh, giving us directions uh, to the coastal path, and it's it's um, about a quarter of a mile, I think, to get to the sea. So, let's see. <laughs> We've just come out of the entrance to Merrow's farm and there is a ledge uh, across the road so you don't have to walk along the tarmac road and we're going immediately left here where um, it's signposted Roseville. Is that right, Sue? Yeah. So, uh, literally 25 yards. Much quieter road along here. Well, already in about a hundred yards, we can see the sea, and it says carry on straight, doesn't it? Yeah, and we found the sign uh, it's just down here, and there's a farm shop apparently. So, I'm going to have a little look. Well, that was a very popular farm shop. There was a queue of about six people to get in it. And uh, we're now going down a slightly narrower path. And it looks like we've come to some kissing gates. We've only walked about 500 yards from the farm shop pass through these. A little bit muddy there, Sue. Yeah, I used to boardwalk. <laughs> I didn't, I stepped in the mud. Never mind. So, uh, some friendly cows up on the hill here. As you know from previous videos, <laughs> Sophie gets very excited when she sees cows. We'll carry on down the walk. Well, this is a beautiful morning again. Ah, definitely getting close to that coastal path now. Just another 500 yards. So really, it's only about a 10 minute walk from the entrance to the campsite. And uh, we were fearful that it was gonna be along the road, but literally, I don't know, 25 yards along that main road, you turn off, and you're not walking on the road, you're walking on the grass next to the road and uh, somebody's happy. <laughs> and here we are, we've met the coastal path. So we're gonna head uh, north, uh, or <laughs> we're not gonna head north, we're gonna head um, east. Is that right, Sue? East. Yeah, that way, that's the way we're going. Because we think there might be uh, a little more to see. There's certainly a beach around there and we can already see it from this vantage point in the distance. Well, we've decided that we're going to go towards the Pendower Beach which is sort of in an easterly direction along the south coast here and uh, we can see it across the bay. I'll just walk up the hill a little bit and give you a shot from here. <laughs> The signpost is just down there. And we can see the beach in the distance around there. And Sue's just taken the path. I'll catch up with her. Another kissing gate. <laughs> see if I can manage to get through without getting tangled up around a dog lead. Struggle, struggle. What does it say? The Lagging Cliffs. Shetland ponies are grazing here. Oh, Shetland ponies grazing. Oh, I might see some. Very pretty.
thing about the south coast, as we were told by the ward at um, the warden at the Agnes Beacon site, he was talking to us about the area, and he said that the south coastal path, or well, south coast path, is much gentler, uh, sort of gently sloping hills, rather than being jagged and craggy and almost an angry coast. Uh, this one's much softer and gentler and, and he's right, it's, uh, it's green and pretty and a lot easier. I wouldn't say it's wheelchair friendly by any means, but certainly uh, those people who want to venture out for a coastal path walk and take the time and not struggle over lots of steps and styles, this one seems to be the one. Seems like a good point to show you our progress. Just climbed a little bit of a hill there and uh, got a better view of the beach. I think what we might do is walk along the beach as long as it's dog friendly. Um, we haven't checked that, so uh, but there are options. We can walk along the path or we can walk along the sand. And uh, let's go along there and see what we can find out and see if we do get a chance to walk along the beach. It's a little bit up and down, isn't it? So, yeah, <laughs> another hill. But we just stopped to have a look, a look back at the view from where we've come, and uh, that's really quite nice. A little bit hazy this morning. Um, warm. It is warm. It's quite, yeah, it is quite uh, humid actually. But uh, we're still making progress. We'll go up and round this path here now. Uh, another, another little climb before we bend round. Back to the beach. Blue sky. Beautiful blue skies, aren't they? Oh, spotted a few, a few of the ponies roaming around. We spotted a few ponies roaming around up on the hillside here, and from the other side we see the view of the beach. We're making progress now. We're going downhill along the coastal path now and uh, almost certainly going to make, make it within a few yards of the beach at the end of this path. Well, we thought we were going to be able to get through to the beach here but with the big house uh, it's all private that part so we've got to walk around it which means climbing up here and going around so let's give that a try through another gate and I think we have to walk I think we have to walk along a little bit of road up here um, we'll see. And we are back on the road now. Um, it's only a short piece of road, very quiet. We're going to go down here and I'm sure we'll come onto the beach. Yeah, look at the lower, yeah, look, pointing that way. Southwest Coastal Path. Yep, Sue's so just spotted a little marker on the post that says southwest coastal path so we'll carry on and pick up the path again just down here we've found the last little slope down to the beach here and uh, along the road of course you would get parking and uh, a lot of cars parked down here this morning uh, well, it's around midday now um, I was just wondering whether you could park for night here it's quite a camber in the road, so uh, you'd have to be parking front to back along here, I think, along the side. But uh, no signs at the moment. Well, some signs showing that the road is closed. There's a dead end now. Presumably it used to go around the coast a little further. Uh, there's a defib machine. Really useful. And it says... Uh, parking 9am to 6pm. 1st of May to 30th of September, so 
no sign saying no overnight parking but uh, I don't know it's all a bit confusing Sue's found a, another landmark just down here so here we are dogs are allowed on the beach they have to be on a lead during uh, 9 till 6 daytime uh, which is great we were intended to do that anyway Beach. Right, found the last little bit of path down to the beach here now. Well, we found the beach. There's a lovely cool breeze down here and Sue's gone for a paddle. Mission accomplished. Till next time, see you then. Bye now.